What up, James? How's it going? Long time to see. Yes, it's been a while since James has been out in Europe. We haven't ride together, but he's been killing it at La Vuelta. How was La Vuelta? Your first Grand Tour. It was hard. It was hard? <laughs> it was hard. I had a, a rough intro into Grand Tour racing, but uh, no, I'm happy and uh, satisfied with my year and can't wait for next year already. Yeah, do you have big plans for next year? Big already? plans. Big, big plans. plans man. <laughs> Today, we're doing a treasure hunt with cycling gear. Being a pro cyclist, you do get a lot of cycling gear and you have too much and you just want to give it away, I guess. Pretty much, I've been accumulating uh, stuff for like three, four years and I don't really know what to do with it because obviously, there's only so many friends I have who can wear my clothes and I don't really want to donate it somewhere where they're not going to know what to do with it, really. So yeah. uh, I thought of an idea to do a little bit of a scavenger hunt and see and get the clothes to people who are willing to, to get out there and ride in the cold. I thought it was a good way to get rid of some of my extra winter gear and uh, get it to some people who want it. Right now, it's two degrees two outside, degrees. and so we're all like uh, wear up uh, thermal jackets, but it's going to motivate people to go outside at this temperature, get off the trainer, go grab their bikes because there uh, are some really nice bikes. Can we show one of the bags that we have here? We've got uh, some bags, so we'll open this one up. Just to give a little sampler of uh, what yeah. we've got going. So here's a Cycling Academy hat, some bellow toes unopened, Katusha rain jacket, shoe covers, warm gloves, short gloves, unworn jersey, arm warmers, base layer, socks. And that, all of that is one price? This is one, so we have four Whoa. bags of this. <laughs> okay, so I thought it was gonna be like a t-shirt. No, 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 no. Two, like, two little stuff. I'm so. telling you, man, I got a lot of stuff. Three suits, <laughs> buff. <laughs> Jacket, a lot of stuff. So you posted on Facebook the idea and a lot of people were super stoked on it, right? My girlfriend actually tried to talk me out of this when she's gonna see this video, she's gonna laugh. She tried to talk me out of this idea because she said, no one's gonna go, it's cold. And uh, like your stuff's just gonna get like thrown away or like people are gonna think you're littering. So I came with the idea, posted it and like you got such a good response that like we're super stoked to go out and do this. And I actually added some stuff to some of the, some of the bags because people seemed uh, into the idea. Yeah. Do you know if people are gonna go alone or they're gonna go in teams? Uh, is there any strategy out there that you read into the comments or you have no idea? I didn't read any strategies. Uh, I just hope that people actually go on their bikes and don't just drive their cars. Yeah, uh, true. We have an honor system rule that only one bag per person. Um, yes. So what I'm gonna try and do is give one clue per day or like a couple clues and I don't want to give them all away at once because someone can just go and scoop them all up. Now that so many people have written to me, I'm thinking of making it a little bit harder. So um, I'm thinking up some clues in my head, some good places that we can go uh, and put the stuff and, and we'll see if we can make this a little challenging. Where are we going first, to the mountain or to the racetrack? Probably the mountain. There might be one or two bags there in, in, some, in some cool spots, we'll see. All right, it's time to put all this into your bag. I think we might have to do two trips. It'll anyway. look like Santa Claus, I need a big thing. <laughs> Santa Claus, that's right. The lamest, slowest, skinniest Santa Claus there ever was. I'm kind of bummed that I'm filming this video, so that, that means I cannot go <laughs> for the void. hunting. You are void from the, the scavenger hunt. I yeah, apologize. it's all right, I, I read it up, other people will get it. <laughs> You got the goods. You got the goods. <laughs> yeah. So first time running outside since you're back from first Spain. First time running outside in Canada. You have to wear a lot more clothes in Canada than you do in Spain. I don't know why. <laughs> what was the weather last time? Last time on your you were on your bike. Beautiful. Actually, the last time I rode outside was in Madrid. So it was a beautiful little afternoon. Crossed the line, finished my first Grand Tour. Did you do indoor trainer? Yep. I have done indoor trainer, unfortunately. Yeah. Three times. Three times. Just because. I was very bored in quarantine. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, if you come back to Canada from anywhere in the world, you cannot leave your place of quarantine for 14 days. Yep, that's a long time. So we have been in 500 square feet for 14 days. Santa you're, time. You're Rudolph. Yeah. I get some. The bike still works, that's good. All right, so right now we are at the Poly, the famous Poly from the Pro Tour. And James, or do we have our first location We're here? We're scouting a location, but I think the problem is I don't want to ruin these nice bushes here. So I don't want to like walk through and crunch all these little trees. I think we're gonna have to find somewhere else. The World Tour comes to Montreal. They come climb this hill and we're always on it uh, when we're doing laps around Montreal. All right, we find our first hit, uh, spot to hit the I think building. I think we got a good spot. We're gonna hide it like right Right in between there, like right, right next to that bush in between the building. That's and good. we got a, we got a sign here. 
that maybe people recognize we got oh, oh this is gonna be an obvious clue because we know that this climb goes by the cemetery but uh yeah we got some good stuff if someone just gets this from that i would be impressed i wouldn't know what it does and i've done a lot of it. We, we we need to say like on poly and we just showed it that sign ah, we'll, we'll, we'll start more more general maybe we'll just post this sign and then and then maybe a picture of this yeah and then maybe if no one finds them we'll, they will put poly all right good that'll be obvious Perfect. All right, that's uh, excited. Let's go. Oh, perfect. Just just weatherproof enough. Good. It'll be pink. It'll be noticeable. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah, right there. That's good. Pull it down, maybe. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, no one's gonna find that. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, James, I have just had a really good idea. When we come back to your house, we should make another like a fifth package, but inside is just empty, <laughs> like just like a newspaper. Oh. Not Easter egg. Whatever the opposite of an Easter egg is. Yeah. That would, that would be, be kind of sad. Yes. <laughs> sort of savage. Location one is done. Now we're gonna head to uh, Camino, the mountain. We have. A, we know where we're gonna hide it. If you think those packages will still be there when this video is up, you're probably wrong. You had to follow me on Instagram and James on Instagram as well. Part of me wants to put this first, but part of me also wants to put it last. Yeah. Because like, I feel like you should know about this spot and that I would hide something here. There's cyclists coming. Yeah, we gotta be careful that there's cyclists coming here. So if the red James post, they might uh, just wait for us to leave and jump on it before the int is out on the internet. So this is a bike of Clément Wimet. Clément unfortunately passed away here a few years ago. James, that's way too easy, man. That's way too easy? Yes. <laughs> it, gotta, it gotta be like, yeah, like either cool. further down yeah, or it's better. Like, I think that's way too easy. What? Yes. What can we take a picture of here? Should I do like a video like this? No, not with a video. That's too easy. That's too easy, yeah. Okay, or the, the rusted chain. Yeah, the rusted chain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Come on. Then we can All right, that's good. That's good. good. What I'm going to find interesting is how good people are at this game. If they like get it with the first picture. Because like, I wouldn't yeah. know where that is. So, uh, location number two is done. What we should do? We should post one right now. Yeah. And see by if the ending of the filming of this video if, if one of them is already found. Yeah. We'll post this one right away. Yeah. Let's uh, do that. All right, let's go. He smiled. Maybe, Maybe he knows. Smiled, man. Maybe he knows. Maybe he knows. Shit. He's gonna wait for us to leave. <laughs> go. Oh, you're documenting how Document crappy your I am at Instagram. Yeah. All right, ready to go. The clue one is online. How much time do you think someone's gonna find it? That's what we're kind of trying to see. I want to see how good y'all are. Impress me. Impress. Find it with the first clue. <laughs> hey, we have it. Insider. <laughs> Not taking any bags, I promise. No, Trist Tristan is disqualified from the contest. <laughs> So we are now back at James place. So Tristan joined us uh, for the party. Tristan was supposed to do a ride on the trainer. Yeah, no, when I saw you guys stories, I was like, you know what? First biking outside and second motivation was that, uh, as you know, uh, Christmas is canceled this year. And I felt like that was my chance at being Santa's little helpers. <laughs> so James is uh, Santa Claus yes. and Charles and I are little uh, dwarfs. No, that's not the right <laughs> word. <laughs> Not dwarves, Santa's little helper. Spreading the contest and uh, the Christmas magical. Magic. Christmas, Christmas magic. magic, yes. Restocked. Restocked. Restocked with presents. Let's go. Santa Claus doesn't have to do this, right? No. <laughs> we were just saying that we are the dwarf. <laughs> What's the right word? We're Santa's little helpers and the we're elves. Santa Claus. The, the hell. Elves. You're, you're green. Yeah. Exactly, there you green. go. <laughs> Rudolph. Rudolph? Oh. Perfect. Yeah, I want to be Rudolph. Yeah. You got the <laughs> little. You have to pull me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be working in the way. No, you know, just uh, we need a tandem. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny to have a tandem, and then behind a tandem, you have like a kids' cart, and then you have, you have all that full all the with cycling gifts. All right, so where are we go next, James? I'm thinking the track is a good place. The racetrack. Thing is, James. Oh, thank you. I followed you in the journal. Uh, you survived. <laughs> I survived. He did. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> so I think uh, nice kids are getting uh, James old clothing, and naughty kids they get like bars wrapping and uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Someone has the first package already? Yeah, I already got picture and uh, videos <laughs> also. No way. So that was fast. I told James it was too easy. Man, we us. How was that too easy? Oh, look. He really filmed it like an adventure. He's going into inside the wood. Oh, it's so good. So he's, a, he's a buddy of yours? Yeah, exactly. There's no insider trading going on. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Tristan gave a hint over there, huh? You know, 
You're like I, part of the deal. I'm all here for the Christmas magic. Like you're not cheating when it's Christmas. It takes a cut of 20%. <laughs> I know it hurt. This might. This uh. Man, I think it's it's good, man. <laughs> Someone's gonna need to come with a buddy we here. Put like a stick or something. Just find a stick and put it here so we can. Ah, oh, yeah, the stick. That could be a good idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just install it. You can maybe do it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's not gonna work. Oh, <laughs> That's that's so good. Like, look. <laughs> yeah, I could yeah, grab yeah. it. I could grab it. <laughs> so should we give it right now? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. this is bordering the, on, yeah, the wind on illegal. Be. I don't know. I feel I feel I feel naughty about this one. <laughs> like, yeah. video like this. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Professionalism. <laughs> Are you posting it right now? Well, fuck, dude. I already found the first bag. Maybe as well do this one. All right, we are at the racetrack and we found the last location for the fourth package that we're uh, that James is giving away. Of course, we're gonna do it at the track. There's kind of not much room in the actual truck, so we're right here, just behind on the grass. And uh, this is the beach club, the world famous beach, where you can get a tan, obviously. Yeah. And what's gonna be the hint? You gotta uh, do? Something to play on fast beach. Uh, we're we're still thinking about it. Still Good. thinking about it. We take some pictures here. But Oh boy. What's up? Nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing <laughs> to see here. here, here. It's behind there? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's good. It's like a further down. <laughs> yeah. In the mud. In the mud. <laughs> yes. But obviously, all these corners have numbers. Right in the actual F1 race? Yeah. We should figure out what number of corner this is. Oh. This is probably corner number one. That's probably that's, that's the that's start. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or the chicane. Something with chicane. Yeah, yeah. Because right, that's the chicane here. So we have to find out if anyone famous like crashed here, maybe. <laughs> a clue is not a clue if it's not an historical lesson at the same time. <laughs> this will teach the people, you know, about the history of Montreal. Yeah. Phone is at one percent. This is amateur hour, by the way. Did you post it? Your uh, oh, the second clue. And my phone is dead. Oh. <laughs> you want my phone to take yeah, photos? I think you guys need to take some photos of where we are here. We need to uh, take a big zoom of that thing, the building. Just that, like super just, No, let's just take a video of this, this guy ripping up. He's ripping. <laughs> You're only allowed to do 30 kilometers an hour here, so that's okay. Yeah, that's There's for Dunn Beach, too. Uh, yeah. We don't want anyone going don't want there and being disappointed. <laughs> Swimming in the beach, digging through all yeah. the sand. Metal detector. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Did, did, you, did you almost <laughs> drop my phone? No, 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 no. Well, I didn't expect to have this thing at the back. <laughs> I think we got this. We're already impressed. Uh, if you haven't figured it out, someone's already found our first package. I was about to upload the second package, then but phone. my phone died. Uh, yeah. How many packages? See if they're all found today. Cool. Maybe plus one tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, or today, like keep the two others for tomorrow. Or... Maybe we'll see. Good. All right, that's it for today's video. So big shout out to James. James, where can people find you online? The Instagram your, at James Piccoli, James I'm Piccoli. pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Strava. 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 Yeah. Yeah. 20,000 kilometers. No, 36,000. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. You heard oh. it here first. Man. 40. And 40. how much tradition you got this year? Uh, a quarter of this. All right, it's getting cool right now. Uh, just, just gonna go ahead back home. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up. It's always really appreciated and it does make a difference for me to get noticed on YouTube. Find out James, Do find out Tristan on Instagram as well. And uh, stay tuned for more. Maybe we're gonna do another one next year, scavenger hunt like that. It's uh, really fun to do and hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.